What's up? Randy Van Patten here in the Drum Vault. Welcome back to another edition of Drumming in the Drum Vault. Uh, Vansdrumming.com. Check it out when you get a chance. Today we're going to talk a little bit about a cowbell groove. I keep hearing people say, more cowbell, more cowbell. So today we have one here. It's black. It's an LP. It's quite cowbell shaped. Uh, you've heard it before. You've seen them. Yeah, yeah, cowbell. Yes, it sounds like a cowbell. All right. So today, a straightforward cowbell groove. Uh, we're going to incorporate the hi-hat, we're going to incorporate the snare drum doing some cool stuff, our china boy, maybe a floor tom or two. Oh, it's going to be wild and crazy. First off, straight four quarter notes in the cowbell, okay? You're just going to basically be playing straight four quarter notes. We're going to incorporate our hi-hat as well, playing the quarter notes with that, okay? I know that sounds hard. You can do it. I know you can. Work at it. And then once you get that down, if you already know the hi-hat stomp, if you've watched my hi-hat stomp video or uh, learned it in another fashion, uh, we'll incorporate that later on if you can do it. That'd be cool, like this. So there you go. Now let's break out the snare drum. You have a left hand, uh, or if you're a lefty, you might be doing this the opposite way. Okay, anyway, so Take your hand, your other hand, uh, whichever cowbell hand is not being played, yes, left in my case, uh, and you're going to basically be playing a pattern uh, as well with your bass drum. So I'm going to do this slowly. Um, actually, I'm going to play the whole thing fast for you so you get the hang of it, and then I'll slow it down for you, okay? So here's the entire show for you. And then I, I won't do the hi-hat stomp yet. Eh? That wasn't it. So as you can see, we're repeating ourselves over and over again. Um, I started, I'll play, I, I'll play it slowly again with all my snare hits heavy so you can hear them really well. Really easy pattern. What we want to do is make those uh, more ghostly, lower, quieter notes and only come down on a big hit so the next thing we're going to do is add that hi-hat it's just on straight quarters with the cowbell throw a crazy twist on you when you after you hit uh, your uh, China boy and snare together we're gonna do a simple little uh, right 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 left and back to your cowbell Stroke roll, right, right, left, left, right. Right being the last, right being the cowbell. And I'm accenting the downbeat. I almost started the high head stop prematurely, I'm so sorry. Not yet. Stay, down boy. I'm just now that 
that's not part of it. Okay, so now if you know the hi-hat stomp, throw that in. For a variation, instead of whacking your china, if you don't have one of these chinas, you can whack your floor toms. Or floor tom. <laughs> After I mute those, there's very variations, many variations, variations of variations. It's Vans variations. So there you go. Let me get my plugs out of here. Thank you very much for joining Vans Drumming, VansDrumming.com. Super crazy sales still going on. I know you all hate promotions, but hey, it's Vans Drumming. Thank you for joining. Later. <laughs>